So today's video is all about skating bowls. Some practical tips on how to skate bowls. One of my favorite things, I've actually been spending a lot of time skating street lately. So one of the first things about bowls that I think is much more different than a vert ramp, mini ramp, anything like that. Actually a common theme as you'll see is like vert ramp skaters and mini ramp skaters trying to skate bowls and they don't look too good. And I'm gonna get into why they don't look too good. Hopefully you can take some of these tips, whether you skate bowls or you don't. One of the first things I'll get into is actually carving. So this waterfall right here is super, super steep in this bowl. This is that Prince Park Mickey Mouse kind of shaped bowl, really fun, one of my favorite bowls. But for example, this waterfall, I've seen this happen multiple times lately. People go straight into this. My dad did it, my nephew did it. People that aren't like super comfortable skating bowls, you go straight into this. And what I mean straight is like, yeah, they actually went down straight into this and then you lose all your weight and you're going straight into that wall. So first tip, if you have a waterfall, waterfalls are pretty commonly in bowls. They normally are towards the deep end, so you can get speed for the deep end, get out of the deep end, things like that. So with this one, I would say you want to ride it wide, meaning you never want to go straight. Like you kind of got to think as bowls, the flat bottom of bowls are hot lava. This concrete, the separate concrete, and the flat bottom right here, flat bottom right here, down here, you can see they're different colors. You want to avoid the flat bottom at all costs, if possible. If it crosses and you have to hit it to like get to another wall, it's fine. But my point is, you don't want to stay in the flat. So you never go straight into a wall like this in a bowl. You're always going at a corner. So that is the first tip. If you have a waterfall or anything like this, stay on the side. So instead of going straight down, you want to stay over here. Because no matter what, it's going to send you around in a circle. I showed my nephew this recently. He switched it up and he went into a circle. He also tic tac and that's the next thing I'll say with bull skating is you want looser trucks. It's a common theme, you'll see a lot, bull skaters ride looser trucks for a reason. You get around the bull a lot better. I'll get into some grinds, like frontside grinds. There's so many different types of frontside grinds with bulls. Like, I was thinking about it earlier. I think there's four different ones. There's a slash grind, there's the floater to truck kind of grind that I'll talk about. There's a stand-up grind, and then there's the truck bash. So yeah, four good ones. But the point that I'm talking about with carving is when I was really young, like I said, this is hot lava. So you always stay on the wall. I'll show you actually, if I go straight, how my board's just gonna go straight, come back. Hopefully, that's not how you skate a bull, it's not a mini ramp. I know I'm like going through some, some basic stuff here. We'll get into some more fundamentals of bowls and more exciting stuff. I just wanna show you something. Where if I kick it to the side, solidify my point, hopefully it goes around without any weight at all. So I'm just gonna kick it. It goes around the whole bowl, so it's that side point is like it's like a ball it keeps moving around where you lose a lot of your weight <clears throat> if you don't do that so that's the problem that's the reason you don't want to go straight and that's the reason you always want to be carving and not going straight because you lose your weight lose your center of gravity and all of a sudden you're kind of like doing this rolling up the windows and trying to like get low and get centered again so yeah carving the walls is good using these hips just like really sticking to the walls as much as you can is one of the biggest tips in bull skating don't think about the trick, just think about carving. And that's the next thing I want to get into is actually carved grinds. A really important trick to do when you're skating bowls. Carved grinds are something that actually took me years to figure out. So I don't expect anybody to figure this out in one day. One thing that is going to help with this is having a little bit looser truck. And the one thing you want to figure out before actually doing carved grinds is just figuring out how to carve the bowl without doing tic tacs. Meaning you don't lift your trucks at all and you just carve to keep those heels and so toes kind of going. So for backside, you're gonna be more on your toes when you're carving, keeping that full carve. You wanna stay on your toes. For front side, you wanna be more on your heels because you wanna like keep all your weight in the inside. So the point is always to keep your weight in the inside of the bowl. Eventually, once you get those good carbs and you're going up, tile is really nice because you can hear it. It's pretty clear that you're on the tile, which is like a, almost a marker for you. You're almost at the pull coping. Point being is like, you wanna keep that carve. You don't wanna lift. And the one thing you'll notice about carb grinds is actually the front truck goes in first. So it's a front truck, you're carving, back truck goes on, front truck actually comes off first, then the back truck comes off. It's kind of like a giant rainbow, you're just hitting it. I also try to think about the pull coming as a bumper. You're just hitting it like a quick little bumper. And the one thing I will say, it's like, it's kind of a whip. If you know how to do slappy grinds, it's gonna really help. But you really want to put your front foot light as you go into it, and your back foot's a little bit heavier in your pushing it off the coping. So car burns are really good, backside, front side. Main thing is, like I said, just don't lift your truck. Just literally ride into it, ride out. Really fun way to just get comfortable with the bull. The other thing is like, that'll really help with getting your speed and just have a better understanding where the lip of the bull is, which I think is a really crucial thing. Whether you're doing it in the deep end, shallow end, doesn't really matter. The other thing I'll say with like, backside, I really keep my toes hung over my board you know, to like really get that scoop. And on the front side, I really have my heels 
on the edge of my board. Same thing, you just wanna keep that weight and those shoulders parallel the whole time too. So kind of think of it as like, where your front truck's coming on, your front shoulder's pushing in. And then as it turns, as your front truck's turning off, your front shoulders are dropping. Same with the back shoulder. You're kind of using your shoulders to lean and push the trucks into the coping. This is gonna be really good and just like helpful for getting you around the bowl. Like I was saying, there's a lot of different front side grinds you can do. There's the slash grind, right? That's like the very typical grind where you essentially are just going up and you're leaning back ever so slightly just to get that back truck on there and you're grinding off. I have tons of tutorials on front side slash grinds and front side grinds, so I won't go too much into the detail and the techniques of how to do each one. I kinda just wanna explain why they're good, why they're not good. So there's that one. Pretty fundamental, just slash grind. It's good to be able to do. However, sometimes I feel like the slash grind puts you in a really sharp turn. And what I mean by that, like really, you have to like really turn sharp to get it, turn sharp to get out. One of my favorite slash grinds are grinds in bowls that you don't see too often or you see like a lot of the older dudes or like people that are really comfortable with bowls but it's more of like a floater to truck i don't think this is an ollie truck bash despite what like it probably does look like it's like an intentional truck bash hang up type of thing but it's not very heavy on your back foot and you're not doing an ollie you're literally just kind of bonking off the transition and then putting your truck in the one thing i'll say with this is like it's not actually off the coping it's off the transition i think when you try to lift off the coping and try to do what i'm doing into this 5-0 truck bash thing you probably end up going into disaster or something else so you really want to actually scoop and using your your back tail and just press into there and you don't have to worry about hanging up too much with this trick because you're not on the top way up here you're actually in the inside already and you can use the rail of your board to push it out the other thing that i think is a really popular grind in the bowl front side is front side stand-up grind the one thing i will say with this is like it's all about dragging that hill you don't always want to drag the hill but if you drag that hill on the edge of your backboard you do get a little more room and the other thing is try not to get too on top don't think of it as like a ledge or like a mini ramp or anything you want to stay on the inside the more inside you are like this versus on top the bowl is going to push you around as you see like in this bowl there's no straight flat wall there are some flat walls and bowls we'll get into that maybe in another video but as far as like carved carved walls or corners you always want to be churned almost like think of it as like a backwards crooked grind like this would be a crooked going that way going this way it's a 5-0 you're not on top too much you want to really stay on the inside and drag that hill if you need to to just hold it one of the most important things about skating bulls is your line and what your line is is basically hitting multiple walls so like hitting three walls in a row that's a line versus just going once and doing like one trick so basically lines are everything in bulls because you don't really want to go do a trick right away i think carving getting your carve grinds slash grinds and stuff like that and then you can start doing tricks i think when people come to a bowl and they start trying to do like their mini ramp tricks or things like that you actually lose out of all the like cool futures of a bolt. So yeah, lines, lines are crucial. I think after you figure out your good lines, you can start going to bigger bowls, smaller bowls. Used to be really intimidated by pole coping as well, but what you can do is find transition that is small that has pole coping, like this little bowl behind me. I think it's really good just to get used to it. A lot of it is a mental game. It's easier said than done when you're coming up to it you're gonna think you're gonna hang up things like that at least that's what i thought for the longest time before i got comfortable with pole coping so yeah one thing is just try to skate some pole coping on smaller transition just to get comfortable with it but really it's the same thing as metal coping i do think one of the common misconceptions about pole coping is that you need to be heavier footed and you need to be like more aggressive you got to go faster and all that stuff and i actually think that's like counterintuitive to pull coping. If you ever slap curbs or anything like that, you get what I'm saying. You have to put some weight into it. You don't want a feather foot because then you're not gonna grind it. But it's much different than metal coping, where metal coping, you really do need to put some weight on it because otherwise you just lift and you, you don't grind as good. So <clears throat> pull coping, I actually think you need to be a little bit lighter footed. You just need to be a little more precise, I think a lot of times. And the other thing I'll say is you have more of a lock spot, like a Smith grind on pull coping is gonna be way easier than on metal coping in general. So if you have a bowl that has metal coping, it's fine, you can still do all the stuff, but pole coping is definitely gonna allow you to get some advantage and just really hold your grinds, your slides, lip slides, board slides, all that kind of stuff where you can use the edge of the pole coping. I think another fundamental pole skating is being able to pop up onto the deck and then roll back in. So like right now, you should be able to just roll right in here. You can pop up, you can pop up here, you can roll in here, pop up here. The point is that, uh, I don't know if I was even camera when I just rolled into the deep end. I did roll into the deep end, but the point is it allows you to get to certain spots easier. So we're talking about lines, talking about walls. Eventually you wanna start doing tricks or carve ends and things like that in certain spots. Being able to roll in allows you to set up 
much faster. So if you drop in, a lot of times you have to hit a wall or two to get the right angle to skate something. So if you roll in, you normally get the right angle right away. Also, you get a lot more speed. It's just something that's gonna like allow you to have more fun in bowls. In my opinion, I love popping up, rolling back in, doing roll on grinds, everything like that. That's a whole nother video, but doing, getting comfortable with rolling in is really important. One thing I will say with rolling in, front side, in my opinion, is actually easier now than backside, but backside used to be easier when I was younger because I could see where I was going. And the one thing with this is you wanna just make sure you're riding parallel with the coping. I think a lot of times like people try to just like roll straight in, pretty dangerous. You can actually just get like one push. For example, I could be right here, have one push, and I wanna just crawl over. So it's a little bit of a manual. I'm just gonna like kind of come from here and just lap over. I'm not gonna hold it too long. I'm just gonna like kind of be right here and just lap it in. Um, we can go more into this in another video, but just want to go over some of the fundamentals. For example, I'm going to just do one push. I don't want to go too fast because I want to catch as much training as possible. So I really don't want to go too fast and I want to go sideways so that I can churn. I'm going to be sideways. So basically the more close I am to the coping, there's less manual, less drop. There's less sketch factor. It seems scarier, but uh, actually does become easier because you're closer to the ground. If you enjoy the uh, transition tutorials, the uh, videos on how to skate bowls, everything like that, make sure you hit that like button down below. Helps me support this channel, subscribe. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Mash.